Hey, what's going on, everyone? We got some big news regarding NHL 17 for goalies. I'm finally allowed to talk about some of the new features. So the first thing is we have a new goalie movement mechanic, and it has to do with precision control, and we're going to have even more control over our positioning. So this year, right now, it's just one set movement no matter how far you move the left stick. So if you hit it all the way to the left, your goalie is going to move the same distance at the same speed. Well, next year, if you, say, only push your stick... 10% or like 25% of the way to the edge of the controller, it's going to reflect that on the screen. So you're going to be able to control your smaller movements more. It goes the same way if you hold it at like, let's say 10%. So you'll move backwards more slowly or to the left more slowly if you're holding it at 10% as opposed to one single short movement. This is going to be very helpful and it's actually very similar to the way NHL 14 and the previous gen goalies play where you had that control except it's going to be combined with NHL 16 I think it's be a lot better for us Next we have a new camera angle. That's right Remember the video I put out about all the different concepts for camera angles Well, we took a look at that we got your feedback and they made a decision based on that feedback And we've got a new camera angle and here's a preview of it the functionality of this camera is still kind of up for discussion. It's kind of going to work where if the puck goes in the corner, it's going to move slightly. And if it goes behind the net, it's only going to move slightly. So you still get a good view of the ice. And you can see this camera angle. It's high enough where we can see the whole ice and everyone on the ice, except it's tilted so that we can see down the ice as well, which is very important for goalies because it helps you read the play and read the shooter's angle as well. Now, while we're on the topic of cameras, I've got some big news for goalies. They're going to be very happy there are no more camera relative controls. We got rid of camera relative controls. And if you don't know what that means, when you play on the default camera and the puck's in the corner, if you hit left on the left stick or the right stick, it actually moves you diagonal and up towards the top of the crease rather than straight left. Now, when the puck's in the corner and the cameras rotate, if you hit left, you're actually gonna move left as if the camera were, were facing 90 degrees or straight away. This is going to help big time on cross creases, it's going to help on breakaways, it's going to help on wraparounds as well, and plays from behind the net. So next, now when you're down in the butterfly, like if you're holding butterfly, and you want to stand back up, and you let go, and then you realize, no, actually I do want to be back down in butterfly, I think it's better, and you squeeze the trigger before your goalie stands up completely, it'll actually cancel that animation and allow you to drop back down right away. So you can like lift your leg an inch off the ground and then squeeze the trigger again and you'll pop back down butterfly. So that's another good tool for goalies to use, especially in like point plays and stuff like that. And if you didn't see the last video, we have some new save animations uh, with the shoulder shrug saves. Now there's not just only big extravagant glove and blocker saves. There's actually uh, shoulder blocking saves. Uh, and you can do this against the post. Uh, you can squeeze your shoulder against the post if the situation calls for it and you hit hug post and you're in butterfly it'll actually squeeze your shoulder against the post if you don't have time to get in that hug post animation. And that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more NHL 17 goalie info and as well tips as soon as the game comes out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.